Drew M. Farmer on Twitter says, uh, how would you describe your relationship with Jim Marnette and what were his motivations in having you win the NWA World Heavyweight Belt? Well, I don't know that exactly Mr. Barnett had nothing to do with that was Harley Race's idea. But uh, Mr. Barnett was a very nice man, you know. Uh, I went there, he gave me an opportunity, and, and uh, you know, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to go back to Georgia, uh, back to Tennessee. First night I was there, I got beat by Abdul in 30 seconds, got my head busted. Jerry Jet told me, well, get down there and won't come home, just let me know. I thought, oh my God, I got to call him the first night. <laughs> and anyway, I stuck it out and just, uh, they put me and Tony Atlas together, Mr. USA, uh, first salt and pepper team there in Georgia to win the heavyweight tag team mm -hmm. titles. Uh, you know, and it just, just being there in Georgia, all the, the greatest the greatest of the great come through there. And I had an opportunity to wrestle each and every one of them. Uh, John Silva, run us through the events of the night you won the belt from Harley Race. A lot has been said about it being a shoot or a dispute or even a botched finish. Set the record straight, what really happened, and also give us the aftermath. I went in there and won one, two, three. Okay. What was the plan? Plan, we didn't have plans back then. Well, you may not have had a, uh, you had a finish back then. What? And certainly yes. a, 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 well, it would have you, been approved. Evidently, evidently you, you can, I mean, you confused with it now. You saying it was a botch, it was this, referee missed count. I mean, I've heard 15 different stories. Well, John Silva says he's heard about it being a shoot or a dispute or a botched finish. So set the record straight. A lot's been said. I don't think it was none of the above. I think we went out there and had a heck of a wrestling match, and when the night was over, I won the belt, one, two, three. That's what I think. That, that's what you're going with. That's what I'm sticking All with. All right. Peter from Melbourne, Australia. Beating Harley Race for the NWA title was historic. How did Harley Race take the loss? Uh, what were the boys' reactions when they found out you were NWA champ? Well, this all has to go through the, to the commission, right? This was the days of the, of, the, uh, of the NWA board. Yeah. Nothing would have happened without board approval. No, and you're right, see, but I didn't know the board. I wasn't, you know. Right. Some guys are politicians and some's wrestlers. <laughs> yeah, I was just always a wrestler. Well, you had someone going to bat for you clearly then because you were somebody that, that that's a great amount of trust that's, that you put in someone's hands when you well, take Harley the Race, NWA title. Harley Race to me was the greatest world heavyweight champion there ever been. Uh, God bless him. I know his health ain't good. God bless his family. Uh, if not for Harley, Harley Race and guys like him, uh, wouldn't none of us be here today, and, and there's a lot of clowns in this business that shouldn't be in it today, you know. Uh, a lot of guys that are gone that paved the way, mm -hmm. they'd roll over in the grave if they seen some of this stuff. What you reaction know? did you get from the boys? Just to get to Peter from Melbourne's question, uh, was it, was it, uh, were they all in your corner? Were they happy for you? Were there some green-eyed monsters in the locker room? Well, back then it was a brotherhood, right? Everyone. Yeah, everyone I mean, you know, well, I mean, you had some that, you know, but didn't nobody say nothing. Everybody was happy, you mm -hmm. know, it was a big night. She we tore the building down in Augusta, Georgia, you know, and put it on the map. So, uh, you know, I mean, I, like I said, it, it, was a, it was more of a brotherhood then than it is today sure. because it's more of a politician world mm -hmm. today, you know. So it's, it's, it's a different horse. I mean, it's... It's, it's, today's, uh, it's new school versus old school. Mike Cashman, hey Tommy, huge fan. My question is, why did the NWA only give you a short world title reign when you won the title? You were so popular, you would have thought the NWA would have allowed you to hold the title longer or possibly regain the title a second title run. I never understood why this happened to you. Well, there's a lot of questions. I mean, people ask about it. Uh, at the time, I was 21 years old. And uh, that song, 38, 38 Special Sings, Wild Eyed Southern Boy, mm -hmm. I was that and much more. And with that bell comes a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. You got to be in town every different night, different city. And uh, Were you making was, your shots? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, I made them. But who's to say a month from now, if I still had the belt that I would, I'd have seen some pretty Georgia peach and I'd oh, be over at her house or something. Let me tell you, you, you know, must have seen more I ass mean, than a so, toilet seat down there. Uh, your, your name consistently comes up when, when they talk about the coxman of the business. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. 
That ain't me, baby. Let's be honest. Oh, Back wife. in the day. No, oh, my wife. I've been you married were. 40 years. You've been married 40 years? Yes, sir. Okay, congratulations. You're one of the few in this business. Blessed. Um, either that or you married a saint, yeah, for God's sake. Yeah, wet rag. I mean, it was all the work, right? All the, all the women. That was all the work, right? Yeah, the videos yeah. of the girls. They pumped oh, in the yeah. audio of the girls screaming. It didn't happen. You had sweaty plumbers in the audience to come see. Well, I'll tell you what, Ben, seriously. Yes, sir. That was, um, back then, that was, I mean, that was my job. I went out and hugged, kissed babies, loved the mama, shook hands. I mean, whatever, whatever the deal was. I mean, what bought our business is the blue collar people. Ted Turner, when he started cable, he was cable before cable was cool. And, and all he had was baseball and wrestling. Mm -hmm. And baseball wasn't the best in the world. So they put that wrestling show on, and it just got stronger and stronger. And, that, and that's what kept Ted Turner above. And, and I just was there at the right time. I was the right place. Uh, it created such a following. And plus, we did wrestling all these towns that came with this, and it, it made me even that much more bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, 